Hi, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, today I have part two of my Dollar Tree haul. I found so many amazing new items and stuff that my Dollar Tree has taken forever to get in, but finally I found some good stuff that I cannot wait to share with you. And then also, oh my goodness, I have ran to Dollar Tree and found all kinds of Christmas stuff. I mean, Christmas is like exploding at my stores and I'm so excited. So that will be another haul. <laughs> so you may get tired of me because I may have quite a few Dollar Tree hauls coming your way. But all right, so let's get started with this one. If you missed the first one, I will link it either down below or at the very end of this video. All you'll have to do is just click on the picture and it'll take you to part one of this. Okay, so let's just get to it. My very favorite thing that I found, and I know it's probably not new to you, but I finally found the Crafter Square wood planks in a square. <laughs> it's the squares, and I am so excited for these because these will make perfect Scrabble tiles. So I'm sure you've seen like all over, people do like the Scrabble tiles with their family's names. Um, I did a small version, like in a picture frame of like our family. Um, but these, I can do a whole wall of using our names and like just different words. So I'm so excited for these. You get six in a package. Now I did grab, <laughs> I grabbed four of these because for one, my name is Jennifer. That's eight right there. And then, you know, to build off of it for, you know, my husband and our kids and like our little Bailey and then just to put like love and family, I went ahead and grabbed four. And if I can find more, I may need it. <laughs> but, so, oops. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm so excited that I finally found the squares. I'm going to open this up for you that way. We can actually see what these look like. All right, here we go. What does this look like? Hey, that's nice. Yeah, that is a really good size, a good little thickness to it. So these, I'm telling you, these will be perfect. Get you a little command strip for the back of it. That way it does not tear up your wall if you put it on there. A little command strip and a very lightweight. So you just probably a little, little cut of one. You know, you could probably get one and just cut it in half. It'll go further. Um, I do not know how big these are. I don't know what it is. It's a four and a half by four and a half. So it's a perfect square. And I am very excited for these. Yeah, if you don't want to do these like for family, you could do this for like holidays, just different words. Or if you don't want to do like the Scrabble tiles, you can, <laughs> you can use these for DIY projects. You can make coasters out of these. You could build you like a little house, like make you a little box, make you a planter, you know, just use these to build something. So very great. Then I found the rectangles. <laughs> I found these planks. Uh, once again, wood planks, you get six of them. These are 7.1 inches by 2.8 inches. So let's open this up. All right, what's this look like? Well, there you go. You see with my hands how big it is. So these are really great too. These would make adorable. You could make you a little scarecrow out of these. You could make you a little snowman out of these. And we will probably, <laughs> we will. I'm not gonna say probably, we will do that in a DIY video. Paint it up, put you a little strip of wood right here or just some fabric. You can make, you know, paint the top brown, make this to a, a scarecrow. We could paint it white with a black top, make a cute little snowman face. So this is a snowman. I mean, you could make anything out of these. That just kind of where my, my mind goes. And you could even do reversible. You could do scarecrow painted on one side, turn it over and do the snowman on the back side. You know, you could make ornaments out of these. Um, just so many different things that you could do with these right here. You could Mod Podge you something on here. Or once again, <laughs> build something. Okay, so sticking with Crafter Square section, I found the roller cutter. Oh, 
I was really excited to find this too. Now, I honestly, I do not know the quality of this. Um, if you have found one and you've used it, let me know because this would be perfect for cutting mesh, for cutting ribbon. Um, I would think poster boards for cutting maybe even the, um, the foam board from Dollar Tree because I love to work and craft with foam board, but it's really hard to cut with scissors. So this maybe kind of help. But yeah, like I said, just found this, really excited to try it. I just don't know the quality of it. But for a dollar, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, and then I also grabbed the craft knife set. You know, this was, I was kind of thinking for foam board or just cutting, you know, different little pieces of wood or little something. But so I just went and grabbed this. Once again, I don't know the quality of it. You know, for a dollar, now a lot of things at Dollar Tree I absolutely love. And then there's some things it's like, eh. <laughs> Like, I bought a little saw before, and my first time using it, it broke on me. But, but I will definitely give this a try. So that, I grabbed some more of these. These are wonderful for when you're painting. Um, you get six in here, just like that. You just squirt your little dab of paint into each one of them. You can mix colors together, and it's just... It's just a, you know, it's just a nice little paint holder. And like I said, you get six of them. And when you're done, you know, sometimes you can just rinse them out and just keep reusing them. So I really, I highly recommend these. And then also in my Crafter Square section, now this is not Crafter Squares. This is Jolie's Boutique Easy Image by Wilton. But look at that. You can make these shirts, but you can make your own shirts with these. Um. It says for light and dark fabrics, chalkboard, two sheets, free templates. You go to joliesseasyimage.com and apparently you can print out stuff. I don't know if you print out the shape, but let's open this. All right, what do you get? Um, okay, so basically you get two pieces of chalkboard. So, I'm assuming that you iron. Yes. Okay. So, you can use Crafter Squares, had those really cute um, scissors that had like, all the different shapes, all the, the crafting scissors. So, you could just cut you out a shape. You could cut you out like a bubble, like someone's talking. You could cut you out a heart. You know, whatever you wanted, cut out your own shape and you iron it. Like, get you a sweatshirt, especially, <laughs> it's like 48 degrees and rain in here, it's cold. So like if I had on a, like a hoodie, I could, you know, iron whatever onto my hoodie and just write whatever I wanted to say. So that's great. You can, you know, every day, you throw it on, you have a different saying on your shirt because it's, it's chalkboard. Okay, so it comes with instructions. So I haven't really like read it. <laughs> I'm just kind of assuming what to do. But yeah, so if you find these, make sure you read the instructions. And then I grabbed some more of the really big glue sticks. So my glue stick takes the really fat <laughs> glue sticks. So I'll open it and show you what it looks like. See, mine takes these really, see how big that is? So that's what my, my glue gun takes these. So a four pack, nope, I get five. Ha! So I get five of these for a dollar. So, but yeah, I mean, you see how long they are. So, really good deal. Okay, so, I got that. Okay. And then I found cotton. I found the little, they're called cotton pods. You get four in here. This was back like in my floral section, like where, um, like where they keep the wreaths and um, vases and the wire and all that kind of stuff. But, so you get four in here and they look like really good quality. Because I normally do not like Dollar Tree's cotton stems, but this looks completely different. Oh yeah, look. That right there is so much better than the ones they normally sell. Okay, and it's got like a wire. So these are twisted together. All right, but yeah, see it's like on this wire. So you can add this to anything, kind of like twist it, lock it into something, or you could just, you know, pop these down into a bow with some filler. So, they're very cute. And like I said, this is really good looking cotton. Like this is something like almost like Hobby Lobby. 
Okay, <laughs> home decor. And of course, Bailey chooses now to eat. So you may hear her little collar in there kind of dinging against her bow. But I found these. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for these because of the wooden beads. Do you see this? They gave us wooden beads. Now, this one says happily ever after, and this one says be you. So, I'm gonna change these. <laughs> so, you can put whatever you want in here. This is gonna be perfect for Christmas crafts. Um, yeah, or just take the beads off and use them on something else. But, very cute, and I love that they gave us the wood beads. So, I did grab a couple of these. Now, I'm gonna open this up. Yeah, look at that. That is so great. I, I mean, I'm so happy they did this. And I really wish that they would put this like in the crafter square. Just give us some beads. Then I found the triangles. <laughs> so they gave us triangle shadow boxes. Um, you could leave these as is, Mod Podge, whatever you want in the back, paint them, turn them over, make Christmas trees out of these. Um, you can make your Christmas trees. I'm seriously about to do some candy corn with these. <laughs> that was country right there with these. Um, yeah, so I, after this video, I'm gonna paint these. I am either going to paint either just the inside of it or I'm thinking about, <laughs> yes, I love you too. <laughs> Here's Bailey. Or I'm thinking about painting the back side of mine like candy corn because I really love the look of the wood on the side. So yeah, so when I do with this video, I'm gonna do a DIY video of painting these up and I've got something else for of candy corn. So y'all, Halloween is this weekend. I know it. I don't care. I'm not done and I do Halloween. I decorate all October, November for fall and Halloween mixture. It's called Halloween in our household. So yes, I am about to do some candy corn. But yeah, so I really, when I saw these, I was like, ooh, candy corn. But now you could also do Christmas trees. So just a couple ideas for you. Okay. Then I grabbed these two signs. Um, so these are really good sizes. Um, you can kind of tell by my hands. This is a really good size. I just happened to grab, this one's Chomp, Roar, Crunch. I mean, this would be really cute in a kid's room. Like in their bedroom, when they're in a playroom. Um, this one is great for like a teacher. But I bought these because I want to do a project with them. I just wanted basically the frame. So I really didn't care what the inside was. I just wanted to be able to use the, the frame. So, more future projects. So I got these two. I grabbed these two signs. These are both, um, these are both like pets. So this one's got like little paw prints all over it. And it says, you're wonderful for real. <laughs> Anyways, there's that one. This one says, it's not really drinking alone if the dog is home. <laughs> I, I didn't even pay attention to these in the store, what they said. I just saw that they had them and I grabbed them. But, okay, very cute. Now, you could very easily pop this little paw print out of it and stick your little picture of your pet in there. I could very easily stick me a little clip and put a picture of Bailey in it because it's got a cute little background. Um, but yeah, once again, I just grabbed these for future little, maybe Christmas projects or like snow, something winter, wintery, but you can also see the size difference. But yeah, both really great for DIYs. And then I mean, I'm telling you, I found some really great things. Because my stores, for the longest time, I mean, I had empty shelves. Like, <laughs> I almost thought, like, I almost thought, like, my store was going out of business. Because the shelves were so empty, and they were not getting new things in. And then all of a sudden, it was like, boom. <laughs> Truckloads. But I found these picture frames. This, I love this. This is a really great size. So, I did grab three of these. Um, 
it's clear it's got this little clip right here and you can do something on both sides and I did that so for uh, my daughter's 16th birthday I had these we went and like took pictures just around the neighborhood so okay on this side but if you turned it around we had these pictures also so I love this so now that you know her party's over with, I can like put a picture of her on one side and like Riley on the other side. Or, you know, if she wants to stick this in her room, cause I, I bought three of them. And we just kind of had them here and there at her birthday party. But yeah, so I mean for a dollar, this size, this frame is great. And you can make this for a holiday, just put you a bow on here. And actually we may do that, you know, just something very cute, very easy. Just add you a bow up here. You could put you like a little um, scrapbook paper as the background, and then just like a little picture, like maybe like a Christmas picture or something of the kids. So, or of you, of your dog, of your cat, <laughs> you know, just whatever you want. I mean, even like Dollar Tree sells some amazing Christmas cards. And like a lot of times like the covers, the front of the cards is like art. So you could do something like that. So that's what I did with these. Then we found this love sign. Now this is a really nice, like beveled, three-dimensional, puffy, <laughs> whatever you want to call this. This is like a big, full word. Like this, I guess, is like three-dimensional. Um, it says love. It's only in the gold. This is the only word that my store has had. So I don't know if there's different words. So if you know if there's like other words or other colors, let me know. But yeah, so I could just find the gold. And Presley, she wanted this for her room. You know, this would be great like in a wall collage, you know, in your office, just, you know, wherever. This would be perfect. Like if you're a planner for Valentine's Day, you know how it says love. That would be really great, like in a gift basket or something for Valentine's Day. But yeah, so she wants this for her room. And then speaking of that, she picked out these black elephant bookends. These are adorable. They also came in white, but the white ones to her kind of seemed a little immature, but she really liked these black ones. Look at that elephant. It's adorable. Now, yes, this would look great, you know, in a kid's room or a little nursery, but for her, she wanted these to help hold up her albums. Like her, <laughs> she has quite a few albums and like they're really tall and heavy and they keep kind of falling over. So she picked out these little bookends to help hold up her albums on her, her bookshelf. So very cute. And then we also got her, look at this basket. This color is beautiful. You know, I, <laughs> I'm not the best at like telling you what color this thing is, but it's pretty. It's a very pretty bluish, greenish, grayish. <laughs> I don't know. It's a very pretty blue. The child, this girl, she's got face products and makeup and just stuff all over the counter in the bathroom. You know, she's got cotton rounds and cotton balls and everything is just scattered. So I thought, okay, just pick out a pretty little basket, a pretty color and help maintain her stuff because I cannot stand going into the bathroom and there being just different bottles and astringents everywhere. So. Hopefully she will keep everything in this one spot. So we'll see. Okay. And I guess kind of going along with like all the makeup and stuff I was just talking about, I found some, found some new products and stuff at Dollar Tree. I found this stone sugar file. This is like for your feet, like for your heels, like how they get rough and stuff. Um, I have absolutely no idea how to use this. <laughs> I have never used one before. But I figure, you know, I think this is name brand. Um, so I thought I would give it a try. Like I said, um, if you have used this and it works or like it hurts, let me know that because like I said, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this, but I will definitely give this a try. Okay, so got that. Then Presley, because of TikTok, wanted to try this dazzling white teeth whitener. <laughs> it's this pen that apparently on TikTok um, is very popular and people say that it works. So she wants to give this a try. So we shall see. 
Okay, and then I bought this nail polish right here. Now, I actually bought this a little over a month ago, and I just kept forgetting to put it in a video, but I love it. It is this right here. It's LA Colors, number 207, and it's so pretty. I mean, I like highly recommend this nail polish, and honestly, I'm shocked because for a dollar nail polish, you'd expect it to last just, you know, a few days and chip off. This stuff will last me like two weeks. So I painted my fingernails. We went camping. We went hiking. I've done dishes. I've scrubbed the bathtubs. And my nails, I mean, granted, I broke some of them, but they still look good, you know? So for two weeks, for a dollar? <laughs> I mean, I highly recommend it. And I love the color. And I've never been like a dark fingernail person. Like I've always done like pinks and reds, but yeah. So very pretty, 207. I grabbed some makeup. I found, <laughs> I bought a battery. Cause Riley's smoke detector, the battery is dying so it keeps chirping. So I did get a daggone nine volt battery <laughs> for his smoke detector. So if you can hear it, that's what it is. That chirp every once in a while. But okay, I found an e.l.f. wax pencil. It says shape and stay clear. So I have never used one of these. I don't know if I need it, but I mean, heck, for a dollar and it's e.l.f., so I thought I would try it or I'll see if Presley wants to try it. So, there's that. I found the e.l.f. Um, under eye concealer and highlighter, medium glow. So I got this right here um, because I'm sure you can tell I get dark rings under my eyes, always have, since I was a kid. And poor Riley, <laughs> he's the same way. He gets little dark rings under his eyes. Does not matter how much sleep you get, it's just there. So I thought I could try something like this. Once again, it's e.l.f. and it's like a two in one. So hopefully this will work for me. Okay, and then I grabbed the e.l.f. Beauty Bear Stipple Brush. So I've heard that this is really good with like BB creams and I'm not a huge makeup person. I mean, you can see mascara, a little eyeshadow. That's kind of it. <laughs> I don't do foundations and powders and concealers. So I kind of buy stuff here and there to try, but <laughs> a lot of times it just, it just gets thrown upstairs in the bathroom closet. But I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll try it. But yes, I did get this brush. I did get this um, really pretty blush. Look at that color. Now I do like a little blush, kind of like just for a little color on my cheeks, but um, it's Color Mates Sun Kissed Tan is the color. Kind of getting a glare, so let's see. Ooh, yes, that is a very pretty color. Yeah, you see how pretty that color is right there? It's kind of, um, you can kind of see that maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a makeup person. <laughs> I don't know how to swatch and do all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't know, very pretty. I'll try it or I'll just give it to Presley, let her try it. So, okay. Now that I've said I don't wear a lot of makeup, I bought more makeup. <laughs> This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation um, Natural Beige, Light, Medium, Cool. I am olive skin complexion, so I kind of went with this color. Not really sure. Let's see. Um, so you just kind of open it up. <laughs> okay, where is it? There we go. Got the little safety tab on it. That's good. All right. That is the color. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to get that much. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's got a really good feel to it. Yeah. I don't know if that's my, my coloring. I don't know, but I tell you what, it feels very like, I'm gonna say wet, but it's like moisturizing. Like that has like a really nice, like it's kind of a silky, <laughs> kind of a silky feel to it. So 
I mean, for a dollar, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Huh. Maybe like for one of my videos, I'll put on like actually all my makeup that I buy and see how it actually does. I found this Expert Air Cushion Sponge Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. Oh, got that. Uh... <laughs> Y'all sometimes, <laughs> I just grab things, especially if it's like new and I've never seen it before at my stores or if it's name brand. Um, I assume that you could use this with that little powder foundation thing. Okay, so I assume I just hold it <laughs> and dab it. I don't know. But there you go. Okay, and then I found soft lips. This is a tropical coconut lip protectant. Hydrate delightfully. And Soft Lips is a name brand. So I got this in the coconut. I, oh my goodness. I'm telling you what, this Dermasil right here, this um, facial scrub Dermasil, I love this. This is like one of the best face washes I've ever used. <laughs> and what I love about it is it's gritty. Like you just squeeze a little on your hand and you rub it together, it's like sand. Like it has grit in it. So then when you scrub it all over your face, it exfoliates. And I'm telling you what, when I'm done washing my face, my skin feels so soft and clean. Like it completely just strips away all that dead skin and stuff on my face. So I'm telling you, if you see this in Dollar Tree, grab it and try it at least once. And like I said, for a dollar, you know, you're not wasting a lot of money. But, you know, like I said, it's gritty. So if you don't like something rough and that texture in your face, but it's, I mean, it does a great job on my face. So love this. And Presley uses this too. Like I said, she's 16 and she can use this. <laughs> I found this really cute leopard headband. This is so trendy, so adorable. I love this. I mean, you know, at Walmart or Target, you're gonna pay like $5 for one of these. But look at that, that is so cute. And once again, I wish that I did like more of this kind of stuff. Let me pop this off here, let me see. Hmm. All right, once again, I buy makeup, I don't wear it. <laughs> I buy cute head things, I don't usually wear it. But we're gonna try new things. Let's see here. All right. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. But it's so, <laughs> this stuff is so cute on other people. And I love this kind of stuff. I just, when I put it on myself, I'm like, eh. <laughs> but this is really cute. And it's got like a good, good grip to it, you know. But I could honestly see like after a while, <laughs> it's kind of digging back here. So, I don't know. But, but this is very, very cute. Okay. I found these. Look at these gold baskets. <laughs> I really love these gold wire baskets. I have a, um, I have like a craft cart that, you know, it's like three tiers and I can roll it around. I thought this would be great to kind of stick in to help me get organized because my plan is to get organized. My craft office room is a cluttered mess. <laughs> and it's honestly full of like holiday stuff and like Dollar Tree stuff. And I wanna get organized so I can decorate it and actually start using it to do videos. But these are really cute and I thought these would be great in my cart to kind of help like stack stuff. Cause I feel like if you put something like in a basket, it like helps obviously contain it, but it's easier just to pick up that basket and get everything out versus grabbing like a handful of different little things. Oh, I almost forgot. I found some Salon Selectives hairspray, flexible hairspray, sit still, hair plumping. It's a one. Um, let's see. It does not smell good. <laughs> That does not smell good at all. Oh my goodness, that actually kind of like stinks. Wow, yeah. That's not what I was expecting to spray in my hair. 
I don't know what that smells like, but mm. uh -uh. <laughs> no, I do not like that smell. Okay, yeah, I can't use that because that really stinks. Okay, moving on from that hairspray. <laughs> I found the Aroma Diffuser. I was excited to find this. I've seen like other people haul it. Um, just Aroma Diffuser. This is what the box looked like. Um, this was in my store was like with all like the candles and everything. So my stores did not have any of the little oils, the little essential oils. I was trying to find like lavender to kind of like help you sleep or um, my husband gets migraines. So I kind of thought like maybe like peppermint is supposed to be good for headaches. Um, but nothing. All they have is the eucalyptus. And I have heard that eucalyptus is not good for pets. And we have our little Bailey. I'm not sure what it does to them, but I don't want to take a chance of anything. So I was excited though to find this for a dollar. Um, it's little, it's so cute. <laughs> it comes with um, two little rings. I think you put the drops on the ring and then you use that. My question is, once you put, like say I put lavender in one, do I only can use lavender or can I put like different oils on that same ring? I don't know. I don't know how that works. But there is instructions, so I'll have to read it. Um, it takes two AAA batteries, not included. So yeah, so I'm just kind of curious, you know, how this works and where would I get replacement rings at? Like I guess like Walmart maybe or Amazon. So or it may just be cheaper, <laughs> just to buy another one when I'm done with this. When I run out, it may be cheaper just to buy another one at Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay. Put that back in there. Total impulse buy. When I was standing in line waiting to check out, I found this little first aid kit, you know? And like I said, we just got back from camping and hiking in the woods. And I thought, you know, if something was to happen, you know, this would be kind of great just to keep in a little bag. Um, it's got some Q-tips. It looks like it's got safety pins, tweezers, and if you get a splinter. Um, there's some band-aids in here and I will add some more band-aids to it. You know what? Let's just open this up and see. That way I can tell you. All right. So, all right. So there's some of the stuff. You got your safety pins. You get one big one, which actually looks like it's like a baby's diaper. <laughs> so you get the safety pins. You get these little bitty little scissors. I mean, you know, for an emergency, you never know. So you get those. You get eight Q-tips. You get some little, some tweezers. Like I said, if you get a splinter or something, maybe. Um, it comes with just two band-aids. So I will add more band-aids to mine. But this is something good. I mean, heck, keep in your purse. If you got a diaper bag for the kids, you know, stick it in there. Kids are always falling and getting getting hurt. Okay, so I'm curious what this is. It says a little knife. All right, it's still opening up. Oh, okay. So you get a bottle opener. You know, you're out in the woods, you need something to drink. <laughs> Can't pop it open. So you get a bottle opener. Um, you've got so this is a knife. I don't know how sharp it is and I don't want to find out on my bare finger. And then you also have that, which to me is like a fingernail file. <laughs> you said to clean your fingernails and like file them. So yeah. All right. I'm sure there's probably another purpose to this, but I just can think of following my fingernails. But yeah, but I mean for a dollar to keep you a little, you know, first aid kit with you, that's not a bad idea. I think you can also get like um, some peroxide wipes or maybe um, like a little thing of Neosporin maybe get in here. If you can find like a little tube or something of it. But yeah. Um, you could always throw this in your glove compartment of your car, like in the console. Like I said, you know, purse, diaper bags, you know, your hiking, camping, throw it in a little backpack. So, great idea. And then, okay, I also found shiny steel non-scratch cleaner it's these sponges 
that says that it's good for, ideal for cleaning delicate surfaces, make stainless steel shine again. So it's ideal for stainless steel two in one. So I'm curious, <laughs> have you tried this? And if so, what is your opinion of this? Because I'm kind of afraid to like rub this all over our refrigerator and like scratch it or mess it up. So if you know, let me know please. Um, I may try like a small spot like on our dishwasher because the dishwasher is kind of tucked. Like you don't like walk into the room and see the dishwasher like you do our refrigerator. So I may try like a small spot on there to see. But yeah, and like ours, like I guess it's like the odor like version. So like it still gets fingerprints everywhere. So no matter how much you clean it, there's always like a fingerprint or smear somewhere. So if these work, that would be great. I got um this. <laughs> it is a drain rooter. Now this right here is perfect for your bathtub or like your sink. Um, I've got a lot of hair. You see all this hair. Presley has even more hair than I do. Her hair is like twice as thick as mine and <laughs> it's longer than mine. Like her hair is to her bottom, but, and we shed. So our, I've got to do the gross thing. I've got to get all the hair out of our bathtub. So when I'm done with this video, I get, <laughs> I get to go unclog or drain. So I had to get this at Dollar Tree. I have used one before. It's not the best quality, but it does work. Um, and really, when I'm done with this, it's, it's gross. So I just throw it away anyways. So whenever I need one, I think it was like six months ago or so. So if I had to do it twice a year for a dollar, <laughs> I would just grab a new one because like I said, it gets down in there and pulls everything out. So, so got that. And I got me some cute pink gloves so I can like help clean and scrub and do everything. So yeah, so I get to have some fun when I'm done. <laughs> All right, I still have a few more things. Okay, I finally found my store stopped selling these. The um the furniture scratch markers. You can use these on wood projects. So um if you do the little Jenga blocks, if you need to like stain them or whatever, you can use this. It's just it's like you can take out like a marker and like you're coloring them. Um some of these like wood DIY projects coming up. You could use these. I got this one, it's got mahogany, walnut, and black. It's the colors of this one. And then this one has cherry, maple, and oak. And you can see the difference in the colors. So, I mean, these are wood stains, you know? And I tell you what, these are great on your floors because every once in a while we'll get a little nick on our wood floor. You just take this, you know, get the color as close to your floor as possible. Just kind of like dab it and then rub it in a little bit and you can't even see the scratch. So these things are great. I grabbed another lantern. So we now have like four of these lanterns, but they're wonderful. We took them camping with this. Um, they do take three AA batteries, but okay, I'm going to do a bright light. So if you have a light sensitivity, let me give you warning now because believe me, <laughs> people will mess me up in their videos when they do bright lights or like a flashing light because it's my whole head issues. I can't do, I can't do that stuff. So let you see this. Yeah, I can't do bright light, but just to kind of show you, see how bright that gets? Oh, yes, and you may think I'm crazy, <laughs> but yeah, a bright light just completely messes me up. It disorients me, so. But yes, this gets really bright. And I grabbed my husband this book right here. Um, the secret ingredient, smoking and grilling. We have um, a smoker, so we're always looking for different like recipes and new things to try. So when I found this in Dollar Tree, I got excited because <laughs> very rarely can I buy him something from Dollar Tree. But yeah, so I thought this book was great. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it just, you know, it's a really nice book. I mean, you could give this as a gift, you know, set this back as a Christmas gift, <laughs> hold it even further for a Father's Day gift. Or like I said, just because. Like I just gave this to my husband and he was like, wow, you know, you got that at Dollar Tree? I mean, it's got chicken and dumplings, you know? <laughs> I would never think to put chicken and dumplings in a smoker. 
But, I mean, there's all kinds of different recipes in here. So, and it retailed for $19.99. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. Okay, the last thing that I've found is the candles. Now, these are nothing new, but they're LED taper candles. So, you can light these without worrying about like wax melting and running down onto your table, um, catching on fire. So, I'm gonna try these. It says it takes um, two AAA batteries. So, I have some Dollar Tree Kodak batteries right here. So, I thought we could try it real fast because I've never seen these. Like, I've never seen anyone like show what these do. <laughs> All right. Let me open this up. All right. Okay, so three of these, three AAA batteries. How do I put these down in here? Does it go like that? <laughs> we'll see. I don't know, how many? <laughs> What's this take? <laughs> Two. Two AAA batteries. All right. All right, how does this work? Ooh, there we go. What's well, kind of flickering? Yeah, well that's nice. Do you see the, the flicker? Look at my palm. Yeah, I mean it's actually flickering. Oh wow, okay, I mean for a dollar. Seriously, a dollar. I grabbed two of these for Christmas, but I may need to get a few more because this would be a really pretty like tablescape. Yeah, but that is actually flickering. And then you just twist it, right? No, how do you work this thing? Oh, okay, it's got this little thing that comes off. Yeah, so you just twist it on and off. So, there you go. All right. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this haul. Um, I am gonna have Christmas. <laughs> Christmas hauls. But y'all, I'm not decorating for Christmas until the day after Thanksgiving. So after Thanksgiving, it's on. <laughs> but for now, um, you've gotta buy it when you see it. So we all know this. When you're in Dollar Tree and you see something cute for Christmas, grab it because it will be gone. Um, so yeah, I've got stuff over here. I cannot wait to show you um, brand new stuff that I did not see last year um, and some really cute, amazing new things. Uh, and I still have other things that I could show you that once again, my videos get way too long because I'm a talker. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Um, I do not recommend this. My hair, <laughs> no offense if you like it, I feel like my hair stinks now. Like all I can smell is this that I just sprayed on my hair. So it just has a really weird smell to it. <laughs> I was not expecting it. Okay, but that's it. Um, like I said, this was part two. I will link part one at the very end of this. That way, you know, so you don't miss out on anything. But yeah, so I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.